Uh, we're with uh, St. Leo University head women's soccer coach Jed O'Connor. Coach, congratulations on a great win over North Alabama. Thanks very much. It was a, a good win for the girls. Now, first 15, 20 minutes, a little, probably a little scary when you're watching from the bench, but after that, teams really seemed to, to pull together and um, you really limited North Alabama's chances in your end of the field after that. Yeah, for sure. I think we were a bit slow out of the gate in terms of doing what we wanted to do when we won the ball. We knew how they were going to play. It was very direct, getting the ball forward. Um, we were just a little bit slow to get the second ball. And then when we did, being able to splay it wide or hit our yell up top. But then once we found our way and found the rhythm, we uh, we started doing uh, quite well going forward, especially. Now you seem to seem to handle, uh, I mean, Chloe Richards, top scorer in the nation. You seem to have her pretty well corralled over the, uh, over the course of the afternoon. We're, we're very happy with the backs that we've got, and obviously we were able to change and play six defenders, I believe, between between the back four through the course of the game. So they were well prepared. I think we, we'd studied her well. We uh, we kind of knew what her tendencies were, and I think we only limited her to one or two half chances. So overall, it was a, it was a great performance by the defenders. Now Ariel Cabangu also they did a pretty good job of keeping her bottled up. Looked she was triple teamed at times. For sure, yeah. In the midfield, but you got. Uh, it turns out you scored on a on a nice opportunity by Selena, who put the ball in Katie Waddell, happened to be in the right spot, at the right time, right in the, yep. in the in the box in front. You know, you know, last year no one knew about Goo, and so she was free all the time, was able to score goal after goal after goal, and now she's been double teamed, triple teamed at times, but she's using that to our advantage because it creates more space and opportunities for the other girls coming forward. And I think if you look at the stats, Saffron Jordan, Rosie Young, uh, Katie Waddell. Uh, Genevieve, uh, they're, they're all getting assists, they're all getting into the game, uh, but then it just kind of goes to show the complete opposite that we end up uh, pinging a long ball into the box and one of the smallest players gets a, gets a body part on it somewhere and it, it goes into the back of the net. Talk about what this win means for your program. I mean, six appearance in the NCAAs, but first first time you've advanced, first first win. Yeah. You think you think the, the girls sort of have an appreciation for that yet or you think that'll sink in a little bit later tonight? or? It, it, Tell us what it means for, for St. Leo women's soccer. I think for the program overall, it, it's a fantastic mark in terms of historical achievements and so on. Um, but we've got a very great and unique and special group and we, we, they don't seem to be too concerned about, about the past or they're not overwhelmed with, with any environments or situations or anything like that. They're going out to win game by game by game uh, and celebrate tonight uh, the recovery and then I'm, I'm pretty sure that when it comes out back to it tomorrow morning, They'll be in. Uh, they'll be thinking about, about Barry. Uh, they didn't want to go out to nice restaurants. Uh, <laughs> their first choice to place to, to go and eat was Mo's. Kind of tells you a little bit about the group. All right, Coach. Congratulations on the win, and uh, best of luck on Sunday against Barry. Thanks very much.